What's up guys, back to me is with the Foster Season 1, Episode 11, The Honeymoon. Okay, so this episode starts off at the home of, a at the Adams Foster's house. Gonna be, not me, no, no, the no longer the Fosters, they're the Adams Fosters. And we see Stephanie walking, waking up to say, saying hello to their new names. The Adams Fosters. So, yeah. So. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, this episode is kind of. So, yeah, so. So, yeah, so. They, they all wake up, but they. Ren's like, where's Callie? And she's like, she has guitar lessons. So, yeah, this episode takes place on a Sunday. <laughs> Which, yeah, because Jude says that Callie has guitar lessons on, so, yeah, but, yeah, that's for, you know, like, so, yeah, so, Jesus is like, hey, now that, now that, now that, now that Lexi is, you know, like, going to go to Honduras for a couple of weeks, unknowing that she's leaving forever, they're like, they're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're like, uh, they're like, so he's just like, hey, Lexi's gonna hang out with me, and Mariana's like, uh, no, me and Lexi have a project. And he's like, I thought that was due, I thought that isn't due till last month or next month, or, she's like, yeah, but me and Lexi are doing it early, and he's like, and he's like, every time Lexi comes over, she always hangs out with you, so yeah, and then, and they're like, how long is Lexi, how long is Lexi, Going on dirt, and he just said a couple of weeks, and and yeah, and and Sharon and Sharon and Sharon is like, wait, wow, the lady said that was like she was leaving forever, and Marianne was like, no, she died, which yeah, she's in good trouble, so yeah, I know, but yeah, but yeah, so yeah, so what is happening, Callie? Why won't let Callie in his car? I mean, he said he would, but actually he did. But now every time he's like, "What?" She's like, "Come on, why?" And he's like, and "He's like, I won't, I, I won't let you in till tell he tell him what's going on." And Callie basically says that the things were weren't working out okay. She was probably gonna get sent to her foster home, and she just couldn't do it anymore. And basically, yeah, this is Callie running away from a problem. Yeah, she ran kit, and Drew got mad. Remember that? And now, because Drew yelled at her, she's like to run away instead of facing her problem by by making up with Drew. She, even though she said she wouldn't be selfish, isn't this kind of being selfish by running away, not facing your problems on your own, Callie? You said you wouldn't be selfish anymore, but you're basically. I think this is this being selfish, guys. Tell me in the comments if Cal is Callie being selfish by not facing her problems head on by going to talk to Jude and saying sorry. Actually, she kind she kind of did say that she wouldn't do it again, but but yeah. So so yeah. So yeah, but Callie's basically running away from her problem, and yeah. So yeah, so all this is happening. So yeah, so this, I mean, Sharon's kind of, Sharon's kind of, you know, like, questioning staff, why, why would she go into this whole adoption thing, counting Drew good kids, but you don't, but she's like, you don't know what they've been through, and neither of you, Sharon, how can you question staff on, on what Callie and Drew have been through, when you haven't been, when you don't know what they've been through yourself, so... How can you question them? She's questioning Steph, questioning her why she's adopting them, not knowing what they've been through. But sure, why are you questioning Steph's decision when you don't know what they've been through? That's the question here. But anyway, yeah. So, well, that, so, yeah. So, well, that's, so, yeah. So, Lexi comes over and he's just like, hey, let's hang out. But she's like, she, but she's like, Nah, get out of here. And she's like, and she's like, uh, maybe I'll. But then like, it's like, uh, nah, I'll hang out with Mario. And Mario, and Mario kind of feels. 
I'm on a time of field, on a time field like that. That, that every time Lexi comes over, she always hangs out with his dude. And my and Lexi's like, you don't understand when you when you have a boyfriend around. And she's like, do you think I don't understand because I don't? Do you think I don't understand because I don't have a boyfriend? And she's like, <clears throat> you think I understand? <clears throat> And she's like, I'm going to, I'm going, let's take a break. I'm grabbing a soda. Do you want one? And that's where we go from there. So, yeah. So then, <clears throat> Callie and Wyatt are in a motel when Stephanie had called them. And, and, actually, wait, no. Back to that. Jude is just hanging out with Sharon when he discovers Callie's guitar. Because she's so he, so he busts into Hayes' and uh, she busts into Mario and Callie's room where Lexi and Mario, and he and he and and, and, Jude, and Brian and he's like and he's just like what's going on? Brian's like, hey, what's going on? And she's and he's like, she ran away. And then we cut to the scene, cut to the next scene where Seth and Lena are trying to figure out where Callie went because they're thinking, well, is this adoption scared her off? And and yeah, and and Brian's not even saying anything. He's just like. Like, actually, actually, he doesn't know anything. Jude does, but Jude doesn't speak up about what ha why Callie ran away and why he gets the editor. So, yeah, so yeah, so they're like, we we better call her pro monster because we're restricted to do that. So yeah, so 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 while Callie and Wyatt are in the hotel, as I just said. Wyatt gets a call from, gets a voicemail call from Lena on Cal, yeah, I think it was Cal's phone, or was it Wyatt's, because she does say Wyatt by name, well, yeah, it is Wyatt's phone, because she does call Wyatt by name, she doesn't call Callie's phone, she calls Wyatt's phone, and, and yeah, so, Callie, Wyatt just sleep in bed, and then, next morning, he's like, I'm gonna go gas up the car, and that's where he runs into Steph and Lena. And Stephanie are like, hey, where are you going? And Callie sees this, and instead of just going out there and calling and telling them what's going on, she just gets on her little car and drives away. So, and it's, gets in her truck. And the truck that passed by, Callie gets on it. It's, and Stephanie don't just run up to that truck trying to get a hold of his driver. They just, they just, they just keep on driving, like, like, Stephanie, you could have had Callie in your custody by now if you just went, you just see a truck roll by, and you don't run after it, and Steph doesn't say, hey, this is police business. No, she doesn't do that. She just lets Callie run away. Like, I guess she wouldn't think Callie's in the truck or anything, but I'm just saying, Steph, you could have done something. But anyway, they're, they're like, Callie meets up with this guy named Mike, Mike who played Jake Hart on Henry Danger. And and he and he's like he has a he has a kid and if he and if he would have and if he and if his kid was there right now he would tell her to go home. So yeah. But what does Callie do? She gets into a convenience store. She takes one of these. I think it's a. I'm gonna say a. She takes one a lady's phone. Who 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 she she asks Callie if she can stay with her and the girls. And Callie's like, and eh, now, nah, but she's like, but she takes a phone, she gives her a phone, and she calls Lampock, 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 jail, and asks if her dad's there. But the guy says, uh, uh, what was his name? And she's like, Donald Jacob. And he's like, um, I'm sorry, but Donald Jacob was released over a year ago. So that means Callie's dad's out there. And, and... What is Kylie's next plan? Kylie's next plan is she goes into a convenience store. Did the guys? The guys. The guys like you have to pay for that. And Kylie's like I don't have any money. He's like then then put it back. But Kylie, being rebellious, doesn't do that and keeps drinking. And he's like, and she takes a candy bar and he's like he's like if if you take a candy bar I'm gonna call the car. If you eat one bite that candy bar, I'm gonna call the cops. One bite, and she eats that one bite, and the guy calls the cops on her and Callie surrenders. We don't see that, but next episode we see. Yeah, but let's talk about the other stuff. I will talk about how I feel 
about the end for Callie does what she did. But let's talk about the other stuff. Okay, so in this episode, Mike actually Mariana learns from Timothy that Mariana learns from Timothy that Lexi's leaving because so, he asked her for a new partner and she's like, What about Lexi? I'm working the part with Lexi and he's like Lexi's leaving. And he's like, she didn't tell you? And it's kind of like, yeah. So she so she puts up this, like, whole, like, thing for his use and Lexi. And, and Lexi's, like, and Lexi reveals why she's leaving. It's because her dad, when her, when her, when her dad's bosses found that he was working, that he wasn't working illegally, they fired him. And, yeah, so... And he just is like, he just is like, that he's gonna wait for her, that he's gonna wait for her, and he doesn't matter how long he's gonna he would be with her again, he's gonna wait, and that's what he's gonna do. So, yeah. So, then, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, then, Jude tells Brandon why Brandon starts thinking about if Callie didn't leave because... Callie didn't leave because of Wyatt. Callie didn't leave Wyatt because Callie ran away with Wyatt. She ran away because of him. And Jude's like, stop, bro. Callie did not leave because of you. She left because of me. And and says about how he called her selfish. And said that he was that she would ruin everything for him. And Brandon, and Brandon, he just called a crying Jude. And, yeah. So, let's talk, let's talk about this episode. So let's talk about Callie's journey from this episode. Okay, so Callie just ran away, right? And she she goes into a, she calls Wyatt. She goes into a motel. With Wyatt. She leaves Wyatt because Stephanie are there. She goes to a guy. The guy tells her stuff. She goes to this convenience store. She finds out that her father is at prison. And what does she do after learning that information? She decides that the only best option for her is to go back to Judy. When did that happen? Why did she think that was the best idea? Like, why did she think that Judy was the best idea? Like, even me, after now finishing the episode, I just still think that's kind of like, like, I just don't get it. Like, why? Like, I get it. She, she thinks Jude's better off without her. And... <laughs> And, yeah, so, I just, like, yeah, yeah, I don't get where Callie, like, Callie found out that her father was arrested, was out of prison. She found out that, that her father was out of prison, which she thought was in prison, but now she's immediately thought that my only best, that her only best option was to go back to Juvie. Her first time in Juvie was, you know, like, 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 agreeable because, you know, she, her father... Her foster father was her former foster father was being her brother, but now her now time to go to Juvie just just makes no sense. She learns her foster father is in Ju at Juvie, and then she goes inside at jail, and she decides to go back to Juvie. Why though? Like why? What was going on in her head that made her think that Juvie was the best op option? She could she could have just kept walking. She could have just kept going to other places around San Diego, but no. Why was Juvie the best option? I don't get this. If you guys can tell me in the comments, that would I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments why you think Callie's decision to go to Juvie was the best one. Because even me, after watching the episode just now, I still don't get why she thought Juvie was her best option. Well, yeah. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And I'll see you next, The Fosters.